I think Ruse himself was purely an opportunist. He took advantage of Rob's unforced errors, like breaking the marriage pact, and actively undermined Rob under the radar. As far as the Stark Bolton animosity goes, I suspect this is more of a signal in the story to readers that Ruse isn't trustworthy, even if Ruse's motivations aren't really tied to the old rivalry, at least not in any majorly evident way. It's also possible that there's some specific Stark Bolton backstory yet to be told, where the rivalry is better explained. But I don't think Ruse is bad because he's a Bolton, even if historically the house has been a bit gruesome. He's a Bolton who happens to be an opportunist. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Ruse Bolton was a pragmatic if ruthless man. He saw how Rob had lost the North to the Ironborn, lost his capital, lost his siblings, and was now facing a united Crownland slash Westerland slash Reach alliance. All the chivalry of the South rode with Joffrey. Then Rob broke his promise and lost the phrase, lost Jamie as a prisoner and cut off Karstark's head. The war was clearly going against Rob and he did not believe that even if they took the rock, that victory was achievable. So he made the only move he could, and joined with Walder Frey and the Lannisters instead to secure the survival of his house. I think it's a mix of three things. 1. Sadistic opportunism to take power. 2nd, self-preservation to escape a losing cause. And 3rd, revenge on the Starks. But I think that was a distant reason because the whole Red Kings vs Kings of Winter War was thousands of years ago. It'd be like a Stark knifing in Arryn because thousands of years ago there was a war between the two. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.